thank you for sticking around. We're now going to tackle the most basic element of map design, organization. You will find as your project progresses, you will end up with quite a few maps, many of which won't be included in your released game. They will exist for a variety of reasons, which will include testing events, or playing around with a duplicate of a map that you will be using because you've had ideas of how the story might call for an area to be changed. Either way, if you have just a long list of maps, many of which might have similar names, it can get a bit convoluted. Let's get to know the editor's interface. The tileset palette is located to the top left. The default overworld tileset we see here has three pages, and they are A, B, and C, respectively. A tileset can have up to five pages. The remaining two would be labeled D and E. The R page persists for all tilesets and is used for defining regions on a map. Region definition can be a very powerful tool in and of itself and will be covered in a later lesson. Below the tileset palette is the map list. At the top of the list is what I will refer to throughout this series as the project root. All maps that are part of the project are filed under it. We are going to have our starting scene take place in the throne room of the royal palace in the capital city in the western region. And for the sake of organization, we are going to define all of that now. Right click on the project route and click new. We are now looking at the map properties window. And while there are a lot of things we can do here, at the moment we are only looking at one thing, the name field. Let's set it to Western Region and click OK. So now we have a map under the project root called Western Region. Now we will repeat the process so that we have a map called Capital City under Western Region, a map called Royal Palace under Capital City, and a map called Throne Room under Royal Palace. New maps will always be added under whatever entry on the map list we select before adding. So, in just a few moments, we have set the framework for all the maps that will exist in the Western Region. This is map organization, and you can see how useful it can be for keeping a project structured. That's it for this lesson. In the next one, we are going to design the throne room.